They are the men and women who keep the lights on and the world humming. From coast to coast, they take the trade to a whole new level. Their electrical work is the backbone of some of the country's most incredible projects. Who are they? What gives them their spark? We're going to go find out. This is Wire to Wire, presented by Ideal Electrical and Little Giant Ladders. I'm fortunate that in the morning, when I come to work, I get to see this. Not everybody can do that. My name is Dale Drozda, and I'm the head electrician at the John G. Shedd Aquarium. I've been at the Shedd Aquarium for 26 years, and I've been doing electrical work for quite some time. I was doing machinery, and in order to have mechanical energy, you have to have electrical energy. Growing up in an old home, you had to learn wiring techniques in an old building versus current. The Shedd Aquarium opened in 1930, and through the years of expansion and additions to the building, we now have 465,000 square feet in this facility. My day can start, sometimes I'm working in the Amazon. I can work next to the beluga whales in the Oceanarium. I could be addressing an issue above the shark area. With over 32,000 animals in our building, I never know where I'm gonna be. We have four million gallons of water at the shed, which equate to 200,000 home aquariums, which require 119 different life support systems. The animals live here full time. They don't take a break, neither do we. Power is very important to our facility. We rely on the power and energy to support our life support systems. It takes 2.7 megawatts of energy to run this facility. There is 1,095 pieces of equipment here. Hi. How you doing today? We've been able to replace our lighting in the building by 75%, turning them into LED, which helps significantly reduce our energy consumption. We have a program that monitors our energy. We have a forecasted projection of where we want our energy to be. So these are the submeters we have in the building, and I'm looking at the energy draw on each piece of equipment just to make sure that nothing stands out of the ordinary. I have to go upstairs and look at our solar panels because right now it's telling me we're producing 80 kW. On a sunny day, we can produce 265 kilowatts. Our goal is to conserve energy the best we can in our facility. This is our 908 solar panels we have on the roof. We have the largest amount of solar panels in the downtown area of the city of Chicago at this moment. This is one way our facilities department can contribute to the conservation and protection of wildlife. I really enjoy doing electrical because that's the beginning of everything to be accomplished. In our everyday life, it's always changing. It really sparks my interest because I enjoy where it starts from, from the higher voltage down to the end user lower voltage because everything starts with electrical energy. 